Good morning guys, how are you doing? My name is Abdel Salim Garba. I'm a chartered accountant and influencer on YouTube. I created this YouTube channel to give advice to young African people about entrepreneurship, personal development and employment because I'm convinced that development of Africa cannot achieve without uh, a way without aware mentality mindset of young african without um, without involvement in our development of young africans efforts we need to be involved we need to be part of the challenge of, uh, of the development of this continent africa of our continent africa uh, today i will share with you a summary of the bestseller the seven habits of highly effective people which is a bestseller wrote by uh, uh, Mr. Stephen, Stephen Covey. Mr. Stephen Covey, he, uh, this bestseller, this book, he, written, he wrote it uh, in 1968, something like that. And this book was published in 40 languages. And uh, in, the, in, term of, in term of books, uh, in term of selling, uh, I think in terms of sales, I think that he, he sold around 25 million of this book. This book, so normally, we think that this book should be a requirement in, in all undergraduate program of, uh, in, our, uh, in our different countries. Normally in Africa, Every, in every school, primary school and secondary, secondary school you have in Benin, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Kenya, Zimbabwe, etc. We need to integrate this kind of book in the program of our children in Africa because this, this kind of book um, awake young Africans is good for our personal development is good it's is good for our self improvement so this book um, talk about the seven habits of highly effective people and today in this video i will share with you the three of seven uh, that will be interesting the first one three three of seven because the 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 the, the post the the basis hypothesis of uh, Stephen Covey in this book is that the private victory precedes the public victory. If you want to be successful in society, you need in first be successful with yourself. You, you need to master yourself to have a self-control of your personality ex before to dominate and to be success in public so the three first the first three habits of of these books is related are related to the private victory how to be a success, how to be successful in first in your in your in your or inside of, of you before to be successful in public so the first habit is proactivity do you know proactivity? What does Mr. Stephen Covey want to say in proactivity? He said that usually there is one common theory, one common theory who said that the, 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 the events and the circumstances which happen to us determine our life determine our 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 personality usually that what the common people are, is 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 taking and he said that no the circumstances which happen in your life yes it it should be it could be have an has an influence on your on your life yes but you have the choice you have the choice to 
to decide you can't decide what you want to do you can't decide what you want to be you can't decide what you want to become even if circumstances can have impact on your life you can decide to change your the, the, the to change you have something you have control on it you can you have control on yourself you have control on your personality you have control on the comp of on the attitude you have in face of circumstances on the attitude you have in faces of of uh, events bad events etc proactivity you need to take the responsibility of your own life if something happened to you is not the fault of government is not the responsibility of government is not the responsibility of your parents is not the responsibility of your family of your friends etc in proactivity stephen covey said that the first habit of guys of people of highly effective people is proactivity you need to know that you need to take the responsibility of your own life this is the first habit of highly effective people the second habit know from the start where you want to go know from the start where you want to go there is no favorable wind for guys who don't know where they are going you know that in this book stephen covey what he want to said what he want to say in this habit he said he say he is trying to explain to us that if we want to be successful in life we need to be clear in our mission we need to be clear in our vision he said that imagine the day of your funeral this is this is a, a, a specific example imagine the day of your funeral this day your friends your family your parents everybody that you appreciate that you love is there what do you want these guys think a uh, talk think about you thinking about you at this at this day at this day do you want they they are saying that you you was generous you was kind you was very clever you was very you was a hard worker etc this value you think that this guy the your friends your family everything you appreciate you loves think from you this value you need to identify as at this date are you currently on the way on the way to be qualified like like that to to create to to know to 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 come back to the first habit proactivity we already said that circumstances and events does not that does not determine what you are what you will become circumstances and events can influence you but you you, you can create your best life can create your life so if you want to, to by the end of your of your life be very happy be in be be very happy in with you with yourself try to make just one exercise take a sheet of please take a sheet of paper write write on it three re, reply or answer on this sheet of paper in three questions to three questions answer to these three questions the first one what do you want to be what do you want to be do you want to be generous do you want to be clever do you want to be a hard worker or do you want to be sympathetic etc second one what do you want to do what impact you want to have to a community etc what do you want to do really want to do this the third one is question you need to answer in this sheet of paper 
is what value what's the value and ethics will will, you, uh, will will motivate you to make action to take actions what's your values what's your what's your what's your ethics values is it generosity is it uh, um, is it integrity is it uh, uh, is it uh, etc et what's value is it uh, sp spirituality spirit mindset etc what's value determine the act attitude you have and the action you take answer to these three questions in the sheet of paper to build the guide of your vision the guide of your life to build to write, write this document this paper will be your personal mission in this area in the earth so if you want to if you if you by yourself you answer to these three questions what do you want do you want to be what do you want to do and which values guide you if you answer to these questions by yourself that's great that's fine at this by the by at this uh, uh, starting from this moment if you finish with this with this with this uh, the information you will see that you will become more confident you will become more confident because that's the rule you fix that's the rule you determine so now don't be stop with any doubts stop considering opinion of other people start to work on your values on your on your goals on your mission to have to build the life you want to have to build the life you want to have habit number three give priority to priorities give give priorities to priorities by this habit Stephen Covey want to 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 teach us that there is we need we need if if you if you be if you became proactive proactive and you know where you want to go exactly now the the first the, the next step is to give priorities to priorities now he said that in our life we have four types four categories of activities activities which is which are in which are important and urgent example crisis some crisis activities second category you have activities which are important and non-urgent non-urgent and important example if you are planning something uh, if you are building a relationship with some partners with your family if you are taking care of yourself of your of your wealth of your health building relationship etc these are activities important important but non urgent you have a free uh, third quarter category of activities which are activities which are non important and urgent non important uh, and urgent for example he said that if your phone is ringing is a kind of something activities import, non important and urgent because they when your phone is raising ringing it can it it can interrupt in it it can it can it can interrupt you in what you are currently doing and the fourth category of activities is activities non important and non urgent for example if you have some mails that you need to reply mails you can do is there is no urgent urgency there to reply to the mail in one second or in the minute 
in, in, in what in the, in the same time you are receiving the email. So he said that the highly effective people is uh, the highly effective people are focused on the second category activities important and non-urgent example planification building relationship with your family building relationship with your partners plan your vision etc this kind take make sports make sport to take care of you etc this kind of activities which is which are important and non-urgent because you don't need you cannot you, you, you cannot see the impact in short term you will see the impact in long term but you need to take care of them now from now short term to have long term impact of, of them for them so these are the three habits to win your private success so i hope that these three habits will will be useful for you and helpful and that and today you hope that you learn something about it the most important you need to know is that you need to be proactive you need to do to know where you are going and the first one you need to give priorities to priorities these are the fir, fir, the three habits first three habits you need to understand in this book and tomorrow we will share with you the four habits remaining and hope that it will give you a lot of value too i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you appreciate the the content please don't forget to put us the like please share it with your friends your community your, your friends don't please don't forget to subscribe now because we have we are giving in this channel youtube channel the most of value we can give to our community in terms of employment entrepreneurship and personal development because we are convinced that alone we can go fast but together we can go more far away thank you for watching our video and take care see you tomorrow cheers